Double Stuff Podcast. We are double the hosts, double the topics, double the fun, and I'm Sarah. Oh, I'm Dan. I'm Alan. I'm Charity. <laughs> Why'd you say it so? Sort of Eeyore-ish. Uh, <laughs> Charity. Or- Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> it's, it's good energy to bring to the first episode here. <laughs> it is. Yeah, welcome to season 12, everybody. 12. This is nice. We're, we're past the 100s. We're in the double digits of our seasons. We are a box of eggs or a... Glazed donuts. We, we, yeah, we, Not at our we house. Are. We're an 18 count egg carton. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. A baker's dozen. I listen to another podcast. That's their joke, is they like say that whenever any number comes I guess it depends on how, how many bakers, how many yeah. bakers there are. Just the one. Uh-huh. So we figure, I know we're doubling on the topics. We're kind of doing like a whole bunch because we thought they kind of get to know us a little bit more and you know whenever you guys go to you know special orientations and meetings you always have those awkward icebreaker questions yeah so your we, favorite part of an orientation it oh, is I, <laughs> I think it's fun at first I uh, tell me your name and I your used age to think it was a groener but yourself, right? I'm, I'm still a girl I'm still on the groener yeah. <laughs> like, okay. not for this this <laughs> actually seems fun because yeah. I like you well, <laughs> well, yes, yeah, yeah. well it's supposed to be with people that you don't know so yeah. I guess that that well, eliminates and, us and when already. that happens like tell me something about yourself your mind goes blank and you forget your entire 28 <laughs> years of your life or whatever it is. Yeah. He, him, he, him, he, him. <laughs> 30 minutes later, he's still he's still doing that. It's like, like, dude, we logged off. What have I done? I just look like what? I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm, I, I'm here. I and <laughs> why haven't I picked these shoes? I have better shoes. No, and then you're driving home and then you think of all the good yeah. answers. I know. Yeah. I'm just sitting there thinking like, Orson Welles made Citizen Kane in his 20s. What have I done? <laughs> you made a podcast. Yeah, that's podcast. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that, Orson Welles. <laughs> so we figure, you know, a lot of people make this an awkward situation, so let's make this a funny situation. We're going to ask ourselves just a series of random questions. Okay. We'll answer them and just give a quick explanation. We'll just kind of go around the room and do that. And it has to be the first answer that comes to your mind, so don't think too hard. Oh, you got yeah. to come up with it. It's a rapid-fire question. Never okay. a problem. Thank Never you too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Let's start with you, Charity. You want to give you want to give a question, something that we can answer in a quick way. Okay, Alan. Yes. What's a job you'd be terrible at? Uh, I, don't think. I I don't uh, <laughs> answering questions on a quiz show. Honestly, probably. I think he answered it already. It's <laughs> <laughs> Podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Answering rapid fire questions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thinking on the spot. <laughs> yep, that's a tough one. Yeah. Actually, I know the answer to my own question. Oh, okay. So a job that I think I would be terrible at is being a referee at any sporting event. And I'll tell you why. Because mm. I, I did it before in high school because I did club volleyball. And so you're required to either mm. line judge or be a ref. And I either, one, get so involved with the game that I forget. And so yeah. the ball goes out and they're like, what? Was it out or was it in? I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> so I'm like, I was uh, thinking about Netflix. <laughs> I know. So you got a fifty-fifty shot. So yeah, either I'm not paying attention, or yeah. I would be scared. Or you to, just do a lie. Well, I would like, be scared to make the call because mm-hmm. I know that no matter what I say, fifty percent of the people are going to hate my guts. That's true. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know if I can handle that. So yeah. because of that, what you have to do is just with confidence, just pick what. Do they record it? Like, did they well, record like, the, the matches? Right? Club volleyball. I don't remember them doing that. But okay, I mean, so there's no replay to watch. So it's like my call stands. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. That's right. Angry You're out of here. here. You like, ejected. Like, it hit the kid standing against the wall. It couldn't possibly be. It's in. I said it was in. It bounced off his head. Get out of here, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> He, had, he answered the previous question. Well, well I was going to say, uh, having an angry parent yell at you, because yeah. when you get to club volleyball, it's different than just like high school, like, hey, let's play in the gym. Yeah. Like club volleyball, one, is expensive. Two, you've got like your parents are there uh-huh. and referees and everybody mm-hmm. and they travel, you know, so it's yeah. a pretty big investment. So like they're there to play and they're there to win. Right. And then I'm sitting there like. Uh, what did I? You know what? If it's that big of an investment, they should pay somebody to be the line judge. Then I would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you bought me enough time, and I do absolutely. You have an answer, okay? What is it, Alan? I was thinking about this because uh, I do not do well with heights. So Ah. tower climbing. When we erected the window cleaner or window cleaner, but specifically when we erected the tower for the station. Oh. I mean, it went up. 
to 135 feet, and I just remember I, I was getting sweaty palms watching <laughs> the guys trying to hang the 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 dish, the yep. microwave yeah, dish up there. Sense. And I was just thinking, if it was up, I, I would just be clinging to the pole and shaking. <laughs> but they weren't free climb. They had like a safety. Yeah, and and they got. I mean, the you could just hear them like and... clink, clink, clink. They were just like carabining their. Yeah, carabining yeah. their. Carabining. Carabining. How do you verbalize? Just say climb, climb, climbing, climbing, a clamping. <laughs> climbing, all right. clamping with carabiners. <laughs> uh, all the way up and down. I mean, of course they were safe and they were. They was fine, but I, I would not be good at that. I don't yeah. think. I don't think I could. I've never been able to be comfortable with heights. Yeah. That reminds me of an old like BBC clip I saw back in like the 70s when you know when safety was still kind of an option. It was uh, I don't know what it was some tall tower that someone had to go up and climb, and it was just a bunch of ladders, and the guy just climbed up there, no harness, no anything. He just climbed. Had to have easily been about two or three hundred feet. There was no feet. fear in the 70s. Well, it, for him, not. It all came in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, got another question. Well, Alan, oh, yeah, so is it my it's turn? Your turn to yeah, ask go ahead questions. and ask the question. Okay, I asked hey, you. hey Dan. Yes. Yeah. What's the most random photo on your phone right now? Ooh. The most random photo on my phone. Can I look and oh, see? Oh, so you can actually yeah. look I'll on say, your phone. Let me look and see what it is. So you just came back from is. Michigan. I Lake, did, it's definitely not that. Lake I can tell Superior. You that it wasn't no. random. Well, let's see. None of these things are really particularly. He's like, well, that's not that, He's like, let me delete yeah. all these. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, one of the cool things about living in Wichita is um, there's a pretty vibrant art scene. And depending on just little pockets of where you're going, all of a sudden you'll see either on a fence or a side of the house or a side of a building, like a postcard, you know, like a, a giant mural kind of mm-hmm. yeah, uh, there's a bunch. Ten, 10 by 8 six foot or whatever which is kind of fun to just uh pop in and take a photograph with and send out so mm-hmm. i, thought I that like was that cool. shakespeare one is it was it, is it on douglas oh or? um there's one douglas and second street or something made like out of a bunch of words a bunch like, of like oh. his quotes and stuff yeah, yeah. I need it's to... over in the old town area we just yeah. found one last night so um there's uh uh the hill bar and grill mm-hmm. over on oliver and douglas yes and um just randomly in the parking lot, there's a section of fence that has like one of these little postcard things. Mm. That's kind of cool. That must be a newer. Okay, one. I have lots of random. Oh, I realize okay. I have tons of random photos. <laughs> right, right, it's right. not random for me. Okay, right. but it's you it gotta is show random. It too. Okay, and describe so, it to the listeners. <laughs> here's the one that I I will go ahead and pick. Then I it is mostly forehead. So I got my hair cut recently, <laughs> okay. and I hate getting my hair cut because I can never get it like. The way, way I actually it. wanted to, and this one actually I thought was styled well and like done well. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting in the car in the parking lot trying to get a shot of my hair after <laughs> it was, like, and I just could not get it to work. So it's just like full on forehead. Okay, yeah. I would say that picture looks like the creepy guys yeah. that hit on me on yeah. Instagram. It looks like and they're like, "Hey, like, can I get your hey, number?" Exactly. Yeah. Oh man, now I have to change my profile. <laughs> um, <laughs> change picture. I said the only other thing that's on there that's kind of random. Jerry, is, tell me, tell me what you're wearing on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> the only other one I'd say is random is uh, this one of my uh, time trial on Mario Kart because I was doing a, a well I was doing a competition we were doing like a little playful competition uh-huh. for the month where we all had to like race the same character in the same chorus with the same cart so it was all equal or whatever so I just I for some reason still have that picture yeah. on there. I don't oh, think that I, uh, yeah I don't think there's a, there's a board game that. Uh, they call Caraca Zone. Uh, Car- yeah, yeah, I know you you're talking about. about. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, and they made it into an app early on in um, app development, and it was so hard to like actually put all of the tiles together. Mm-hmm. Um, and so one day, after like two years of playing, I was able to actually get a a complete city and use all the tiles. Yeah. And oh, so nice. I took a screenshot nice. of that. That's I awesome. knew it was never going to happen again. <laughs> I'd say then my last one would be um, confirmation numbers for online orders. I don't oh, trust yeah. people, so I just take a screenshot of the confirmation yeah, number no, that's, that's and then forget thing. to delete I've them. Got, yeah. I've got those. Like, and, here's, and here's my password and <laughs> last four digits of my social security. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, worked, it works out quite well. So you can decide which of those is the most odd uh, choice I, of I the think three. That, that forehead yeah. I think the, yeah, the, the forehead one works. That forehead gave me creeper vibes. I That's deleted all. most of them. Who's I don't know why feet? I didn't delete that one. So that's just all on for. And of course, because my widow's peak, like when I get my hair cut, it's more visible. So it's full forehead. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know, it, it was good. I mean, I know, I know, a game charity. It was just 
It's always fun to see no, other people's faces. I've had faces. ten guys in the past, like whoa, three weeks. charity, <laughs> humble brag. Elizabeth Hart. Whoa, <laughs> I hate to brag, but they're unbelievable. Just... <laughs> I mean, if it was anything worth bragging about, I'd be like, hey, guess what I got? No, these were, these were not. These were not the the top quality of followers. So I'm just like, nope, delete, All delete, right, so delete. I did not answer that question very quickly, but I will continue around the circle. Yes, Sarah. Between sunrises and sunsets, you prefer? Ooh. I think Well, I, I am more of a I am more of a night owl, so I probably So Sarah would go. prefers the moon. Like she does not <laughs> she's not an early riser, so I've I've had to be more the older I've gotten. I mean I, I will say sunrises are very pretty, but I think I think I like sunsets better. Sunsets. I think it has I I like the the oranges and the pinks and the purples kind of going does together. does really have really beautiful sunsets. Yeah, uh, that you can see for miles. Yeah, it's true. Like, and I guess that's maybe the plus side of being in a flat land that you can actually kind of see it on the, hur- you can in the see horizon. It the next state over just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas, to Oklahoma, to Texas. But yeah, I think I guess if I had a choice to probably be sunsets. Sunsets. Yeah. Anybody else love the setting of the sun? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. I think. Well, that was a stimulating You guys are like the <laughs> least romantic. So I'm, no, no, like, so I'm thinking about it. I, I do like, I was trying to think if I enjoy sunrises more, but sunrises are a reminder that the day's starting and I have a whole day ahead of me and that's just exhausting. Sunsets <laughs> a, are nice. What a, it's pessim- what a pessimistic <laughs> way. <laughs> it's quiet. Oh, no. okay, I know what you're talking about too, because especially coming into the summer months when the days are longer mm-hmm. and yeah. the sunrise gets earlier and earlier, um, it, it's a little bit annoying because my dog wakes up to the sun. Yep. And so it's earlier and earlier and earlier throughout the, <laughs> yep. the you need summer. You get those yeah. blackout curtains or something. That way your dog can't see the I sun. Don't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I think my cat does just the same thing. Just internal clock. I guess. Five thirty every morning. My cat is like at my shoulder, right? Yeah. Like n- not even like meowing, just like kind of nudging me to get up. So what I've just, what I've taken to do is pushing him off. It does not work. <laughs> so I've taken him to do is I just grab him and cuddle him really tight. Because that's not what he wants at all. <laughs> yeah. He wants me to get up and feed him. I don't, I don't like, want nope, your love. Get love. I want food. So, <laughs> I'm trying to retrain him. I'm like, you come mess with me. You're going to get hugged. you got to get yeah. some love. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Charity. I have a question that I know that you're going to answer very oh, quickly. Oh, lovely. I hate the smell of... Oh, there's so many. I know there's so many. Oh, uh, okay. So if we're talking yeah, are you, food. You want to do it alphabetical? <laughs> <laughs> so if we're talking food, I would go with cabbage or cauliflower. I knew you going to say cabbage. Because it, they both smell like butt. Like there's no, you walk like in. Like raw or like no, cooked? Like cooked. Oh, okay. cooked. I like yeah. that you compare it. So really what you don't like is the smell of butt. <laughs> and anything that smells like no, butt. It smells like butt, and I'm expected to eat it. Uh-huh. That's the thing that gets me. <laughs> no, I knew she was going to say that. I was like, this is an easy question. I made yeah. it too easy well, for no, you. There, there's categories. Like, if we're talking food, yeah, that would be it. Sorry, produce growers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, eating is pr- raw or raw. cooked? I do prefer Definitely raw. cooked. Cooked is it's gross. But like, I, maybe it's because people don't cook it right, because people yeah. will just cook vegetables to high heaven to where it gets mush, mush. Mm. Yeah, you can't that, do that. Yeah, like I, I prefer raw vegetables, but if I cook it, then it's more steamed. or st- steam it or yeah. blanched. Yeah. yeah, so like I'm not. Yeah, but maybe that's why. <laughs> like, like if you cook it long enough, all I don't know. I but, say, but one of my favorite smells couple... is popcorn, though. I do Ooh. love popcorn. Ooh, that Ooh, is really good. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Continue your sentence. I was thinking about. Popcorn. Well, I was just thinking about like, um, but there's some vegetables that uh, that are very hard to eat. Um, raw and they need to be kind of broken down by the heat mm. or whatever like like a brussels like sprout, a brussels or, sprout or, or asparagus something. yeah or a turnip or yep. something like that which i hate that's something that turnips i've never liked her i like turnip greens but i don't yeah. like the turnip Try, have we had turnips i don't think I've we've had, had turnips. turnips we've had, but yeah, I like we've had beets. greens yeah, yeah. I like, we, we've had collard greens yeah, yeah i like uh, carrots i like uh, all kinds of roots i vegetables. like raw carrots i don't like them cooked well i like cooked uh, yeah. I like carrot cake. Does that kind of go? <laughs> I think so because I like carrot cake. Or like, or like, or like a what zucchini bread? I do like, like if it's yeah. kind of mixed Only together. Only if it's homemade by like a grandma. Or carrot cake like is the biggest disappointment. It's like we're having cake and then they bring it out and it's just like no. Well, I well, used, I used to think carrot cake does just, no. have chunks and things. And in they it. usually <laughs> have raisins too, and yeah. I like raisins, which is even what? worse. Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. it even what? worse. I'm trying to think if I had it. I have never seen raisins in a carrot cake. I don't think I've ever had it with raisins. Yeah, it's good. Maybe homemade. I don't think I've had homemade raisins no i'm at home (laughs) 
Help me carry these grapes out in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> the only place for carrot cake with raisins is in the trash. The trash, yeah. the trash. Okay. under oh, file yeah. thirteen. I mean, <laughs> put the raisins in the trash. I don't like raisins. Yep. Ra- okay, this is gonna sound weird. <laughs> oh, here Do we go. Do raisins make your mouth feel funny when you eat them? Like, yes. a I don't know. I don't eat they, them. They, like they, a ticklish. They, 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 it makes your jaws tickle. Yeah, it's yeah. the same sensation I get when I have apple juice because I don't like the way my mouth feels having apple juice. Like the the t- like like or your something? your jaws down here they just kind of tingle tickle, and your mouth kind of it doesn't go numb but it's just kind of like nah, nah, nah. it's a weird feeling hmm. I can feel it now I'm like <laughs> <laughs> just your mouth just kind of oh hello Sarah's recording my t- tingle tickle mouth your tingle tickle <laughs> no. Like, no not tingle no, no you tingle t- tingle tingle tickle I think I gotta take a tingle <laughs> tingle about a tingle <laughs> no. uh, okay is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, I'm going to switch it up. So, Dan, you tell me, between being the driver and the passenger, what is your preference? Driver. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I get bored when I'm a passenger because I can't really read in the car because it makes me sick. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just get so bored. I'm just like, please let me drive. Even if I'm, like, dead tired. If it's on, like, cruise, because you're not really driving at that point. You're just kind of cruise control. You're sitting there holding the wheel. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I'd rather drive. I mean, when we went to New York, like, with my mom, we drove 18 hours, and I drove all but two of those. Oh, Mm. wow. And that was more to help her, but, I mean, because she was going to have to drive back by herself. So, it was like, I got this. Yeah. No problem. But, yeah, it was, I like like driving. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm a terrible passenger, too. So bad. Yeah. I am on high alert. Yep. As a, as a passenger. Just gripping that hand. Yeah, <laughs> and then as a driver, I will take so many chances and just be like That's humming right. Frank Sinatra in yeah. my head. <laughs> That's, right. That's absolutely right. And to be fair, like my wife is a great driver. Uh-huh. If I'm with the, you know, if I'm driving with my dad or whatever, a great driver, like not a big deal. But like my feet are just like pressed into yes. the floorboard. Yes. Really like hanging on. Like, why are we going like this? <laughs> Next time I will take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny once you learn how to drive, you start doing that. Because, of course, I had no problems when I was a kid because that's all you could be was a passenger. Mm-hmm. And well, then and once when you start learning, you're a, kid, you're a passenger drive. in the back seat. That's a whole different type of travel versus mm-hmm. being a passenger in the front true, seat. You, you true. Spe- you did get special treatment. It was like, I get to sit in the front. Mm-hmm. I'm even more bored in the back seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and so my problem is just boredom. <laughs> that if you're, and if you have to sit in the middle. Oh, where you, where you have like the seat belt when you can't. It's a nice thing about being oh, over see, six I'm, foot. I'm you like, never have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm at a point now where I'm just like, I know this might make you uncomfortable, but I won't be. So I'm just putting my arms around. <laughs> I'm in the middle. So you're just showing some love yeah, to I'm, anybody yeah. you sit next to. And I'm sorry, but this is just how it's going to happen. We're going to be like this for the next ten hours. Yeah, that's as right. As Cuddle got, up. So as long as you, as long as you got deodorant, yeah. we can cuddle. Yeah, and then I'll be charities. What's the next smell you hate, Alan? After driving for ten hours, on a road trip. <laughs> That smell fantastic. That smell like beef jerky and diet coke and old spice. Yeah, like what, what, what a combination! <laughs> that make a great candle: beef jerky and old spice. Market that's old spice. <laughs> you start making candles. That's oh. true. Yeah, that is a missed opportunity. I don't even know if I'd buy that one. All so, right. We All right. Do, so are we just going around the circle? I was just switching it up and asking whoever, so we All don't right. have to go in a circle. I don't know who was asking next. You? Uh, you oh, I me. Ask you oh, a question. okay. Yeah. Well then. Uh, Back at you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Pizza or tacos and why? Is it homemade or store-bought? It's up to you. If we're doing homemade food, I would do homemade tacos. Okay. Yeah. Um, if we're doing store bought, then store bought pizza. pizza. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's store bought pizza. Or not store bought, but like if you're gonna order out. Or okay. Just so yeah. not not like frozen because frozen just kind of <gasps> cardboardy. What's your what's your uh, homemade taco is it uh, hard shell from uh, oh we don't we don't we don't necessarily don't, do the hard shell I don't like hard shells because I don't I like my shells. mouth being oh you do absolutely uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> there's always got to be one I will <laughs> say this Ortega figured it out it took him. 30 years where they figured it out they made oh, a flat top the, taco yeah the standard They're stuff the, yeah the yeah, that's the stuff. only one I get yeah forget that nonsense of them falling years. over <laughs> spilling out all the toppings everywhere it took them to figure it out I won't even buy a taco shell yeah. if it's not the standard stuff I'm like yeah. I'm going to another store if you're out <laughs> <laughs> These other ones are nonsense well, at this I'm, point. I'm all for a happy compromise yeah. because sometimes the soft shell, I do like it, but they are, I feel like they've gotten more flimsy. They're, they don't seem to hold as much as what they used to. Well, yeah, because they're broken out the pack. Like, we yeah. got to fry them up. You might as well yeah, you make. You don't fry you the fry tortillas? 
But if they're already broken, it doesn't we, matter. We you're you're going to make but... more nachos than tacos. Oh, you're talking about the hard shells. Yeah. I, oh, we're not oh, talking about hard shells? Their, I was talking about hard shells because I yeah. love hard shells. But, yeah. the, but that's, I'm not like a taco snob. I'll eat a soft shell that's taco. That's true. I, <laughs> I like any taco. taco. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I like tacos, but it's, it's such a messy food, and I get really self-conscious when I eat tacos in public. Yeah, you just shove it right in the maw. Oh. See, yeah, well, you, one can, shot. you can do that without reservation. <laughs> See, what you but... have to do is you have to have clean hands for this, okay? But you hold oh, it to the hard so shell down. taco, right? And you put it against the palm of your hand. So when you're eating, all that stuff gets smushed back at your hand, and then you just push it back they in. They just lick your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he has a strategy. I like, Dan's got you this down to a side. For pizza. Taco Bell, if you get the specialty chalupas at Taco Bell, they have a, um, a little cardboard thing that like goes on the end, one half of the end wow. that holds all the filling in which is great but then you end up with all the filling in then then you have to lick it out well you know what that's <laughs> that's interesting because like whenever you get a, a a burrito that's wrapped in aluminum foil some people like completely unwrap it i'm like no 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 no, no. You, yeah yeah you Who uncoil unwraps? it exactly. I've never, what's the point of unwrapping I've it you're seen, asking for a mess exactly. yeah exactly yeah. that's that's my point you're supposed to just unwrap as you go exactly yeah I will say, my sister can perfectly eat a burrito, wrapped or unwrapped, without about, making a mess. Wait, she, can, yeah. she can eat a wrapped burrito? No. <laughs> That's impressive. That is how you said she it. She can eat a paper at all. I'd watch that. Yeah. She's like, there's this metallic taste in this burrito. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's extra protein particles in there. Yeah, right? sure. <laughs> I'll do one for you, Alan. Okay. If you could be any day of Thank the week, Alan. what Thank would you be? Wednesday. You're a Wednesday? Woden's day. I just... <laughs> Alan likes counting. He's yeah. the all-father. It's his day. Yeah, there you Up go. day, Alan. There you go. Um, the, only because I, I challenged myself while you were asking me to say the very first day that came to mind. <laughs> All right. Rapid fire, then. You asked one more question to somebody. Yeah, yeah ask oh. me something. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This is there. All right. So, Sarah, if I were to go to the store right now to buy ice cream, what flavor would I pick for you? Ooh, orange sherbet. That's not what I would pick for you. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what I would pick. <laughs> you should have asked yourself that question. It would either be strawberry ice cream or orange sherbet because I've always and I guess technically sherbet isn't an ice cream by definition. But I, I never understood that. But yeah, is it sherbet? It's is it sorbet? It's good enough. The ice cream yeah. section. Yeah, I always yeah. ask for that for my birthday. Mm. I always, always. So you, yeah, know, so, you always ask for it's that. Because parents it's got always a little forget. tang that, to it. Yes, doesn't it? the tanginess. Yeah. yeah, orange sherbet and lime sherbet. I like both of them very yeah. much. But ever since I was like i don't know six seven eight years old i've always liked it that's because that's there's good. an old home video of your birthday i think you were maybe three or four and grandma is scooping that do you remember that video that doesn't sound familiar oddly. She, she said that she had i don't know what she said it was sure maybe it was orange it might have been there's an old home video somewhere which we don't have a vhs anymore so you know we'll never see that again but there's an old <laughs> home video of sarah at her third birthday party <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can see it. There's a TV in here. Um, but Grandma is scooping that onto your plate. That sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, so I, I think it has been one of my so birthdays probably at thanks to Grandma. House. Yeah. That's probably your That favorite. does sound. I think that I was introduced to Sherbert from Maybe my grandmother. Maybe it's a grandmother thing. Maybe it, it has. It down. A childhood, yeah. something. On my mother's there. side, I remember having Sherbert at their ice cream, mm -hmm. whatever, and tin roof. My grandfather always had to have. A tin, tin roof. roof. Is that is that, a is that the brand? <laughs> no, it's a it's a flavor. So it's vanilla with chocolate swirls and peanuts, and I think that's oh, about it. Why is it called tin it's roof? Like, I don't know. It, yeah, it, uh, it's like it's like kitchen sink. You put yeah. a little bit of everything. Or moose it. tracks. It reminds like, me of moose tracks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's okay. Well, just to let you know, the correct answer to your question was cookie dough. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That was what I should have said. I should have said cookie dough. That's the objectively correct answer. Actually, yeah. it's, it's too much. It's, I don't uh, like ben and Jerry's that. half baked is the correct correct <laughs> answer. Ooh, I trumped is, your ice cream. Okay. <laughs> All right, if you haven't tried it, if you haven't tried, and it's a little bit more expensive, but um, it's super decadent. There is at the uh, at Dylan's in the private selections, whatever the the upper echelons, Kroger, yeah. whatever private mm -hmm. selections. There's brown bourbon truffle. Oh, that sounds rich. I could taste it just so now. So 
good. It's it's too good. It's yeah, too good. Is that what's in your freezer right now? No, I, I <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> say, after this, yeah, he's it's going gone. Dylan, it's gone. As soon as I get it, I'm like, I'm having this all the time, <laughs> and it is gone. So yeah, I specifically don't buy that. Well, guys, now that we've been talking about ice cream, now we have to go and get it at the end of the show. I know. Ice I'm cream. Making a trip. You making scream. Tri- we, we all scream for ice cream. Dan's having none of it. He didn't like, enjoy it. Sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> we all scream for sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> Froyo. Which I'm not familiar with this you guys are saying. <laughs> so guys, this has been so good. We're actually going to do this uh, in next week's episode. We're going to talk a little bit more about random icebreaker questions so you can just get to know us and more absurd questions to ask ourselves. But in the meantime, check us out on all the different podcast platforms. Uh, all of our new ones are on there. Of course, check us out on our website at doublestuffpod.com. And of course, we're on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube at Double Stuff Podcast. And of course, on Twitter at Double Stuff P. And that's the letter P. Thank you.